Welcome everyone. Today, let's talk about the ever so common but illegal action of stealing campaign signs. I'm Anthony Ray, one of the attorneys here at Ray Law Criminal Defense, where we believe it's critical to educate all on the legal impact of their actions. If you are new here, make sure you click that subscribe button and check out our other videos. Let's take a look at the law, the legal procedure, and the facts for today. Now, more than ever, it seems that political tensions are at an all-time high. With the upcoming presidential elections, people are more impassioned than ever about their political stance. While some people may only take to social media to express their viewpoints, others may take a more forceful action. It has now become all too common for people to steal campaign signs. But note that under the Michigan law, this is not legal. It is a serious misdemeanor offense. Let's check it out. First, it is important to note that campaign signs placed on private property are generally considered property of the person who owns the property or lives in the house. As such, when you remove a campaign sign from someone else's property without their knowledge or permission, it is considered stealing. Under Michigan law, if you steal property that is less than $200, you will be charged with a misdemeanor. If found guilty, you could spend 93 days in the slammer, be required to pay up to $500 in fines, or three times the value of the campaign sign. Because this is such a problem, some Michigan residents have gone to extreme lengths to protect their signs from being stolen. On October 9th, an Oakland County resident was alleged to have booby-trapped their political campaign sign by lining it with razors. Unaware of the razors, a county inspector tried to remove the campaign sign because the placement of it violated township ordinance. As a result, and as you can imagine, the inspector sustained severe cuts. It is a common misconception that you can take harmful measures to protect your personal property. For example, setting up booby traps. However, you can't do this. In Michigan, you cannot use deadly force or force that would cause great bodily harm to another to protect your personal property. Since 1825, it has been illegal to set booby traps with the intent to harm an intruder. This includes man traps, spring guns, snares, and yes, even razors lining a campaign sign. This is because the law values life over property. Additionally, a booby trap has no way to determine whether someone is lawfully on the property. If you set a booby trap on your property, you will run the risk of facing civil and even criminal charges. Depending on the severity of the injury, you can be charged with murder, manslaughter, or felonious assault, while the intruder may only be charged with trespassing or theft. Now, more than ever, it is important that you have a criminal defense attorney involved in your case to fight for and protect your rights. Get the Ray Law Advantage. Get the protection and knowledge you need to get your life back on the right track. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.